What's up everyone? This is Tony with Journey Crypto. In this video, we're going to be talking about the current state of the crypto markets. We do have a small pullback right now. We're also going to be talking about major crypto news over the past 24 hours, some huge steps towards mass adoption, some big stuff happening as well. And we do have some data suggesting a huge altcoin season is right around the corner. We're already seeing a lot of altcoins going up 2 to 5x in a short period of time. So before we get started, I do appreciate if you guys like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hit the bell to be notified for daily crypto videos. All right, guys, so we do have a small dip in the markets today. Uh, Bitcoin down 3%, just under $45,000. Again, Ethereum down 5.5% at $3,000. We have ADA down 8% under $2 again. Uh, this did hit $2.20. And XRP uh, rallied recently as well. That's now down around 9% at $1.11. Uh, Solana really pumped yesterday as well. It did break $70, which is pretty crazy. Uh, that's still at 55% on the seven day. Uh, as well as Terra Luna still up around 55% on the seven day as well at $25. So we're really starting to see uh, some of these top 100 cryptocurrency altcoins that do have uh, major utility and major updates coming that are uh, really starting to catch up that were undervalued because of the markets uh, crashing uh, end of May. So I do believe this small correction is healthy and expected. Uh, we still have bears stating this uh, small dip is uh, basically the start of a crash back to $30,000 and that this is uh, just a dead cat bounce and we're going to be headed back uh, below $30,000 and continue uh, dipping into a bear market. But uh, there's so many bullish things happening and lots of huge news day after day. Uh, actually, some huge news I do want to go over in this video with you guys as well. Huge steps towards mass adoption. So in my opinion, this is healthy. Uh, something else I do want to point out as well is Axie Infinity's uh, up against the market once again, up 6% today, breaking $70 again. So Axie Infinity is a great example of cryptocurrencies I'm uh, currently looking for that are much smaller market cap that will have a growing user base and actual utility and people actually using the game. And this is why Axie Infinity AXS token surged so much while the markets weren't even doing too great, as you guys can see. This surged from around $5 uh, end of June, uh, all the way up to over $70 now. Even while the markets weren't doing great, uh, when everyone was stating this was uh, headed into a bear market, Axie Infinity AXS token was continuing to surge. And this is because uh, the token is required to uh, progress in the game and uh, to get NFTs and everything. So um, this token has real utility with a growing user base is going to make something surge even against the market. So uh, this is what I'm looking for in small cap altcoins is uh, gaming projects and NFT projects and uh, DeFi projects that will have a growing user base regardless of what the markets are doing. And that has a token that has real utility that's needed uh, for the project. So great example. I uh, definitely recommend looking into that. Um, I will be doing a video going over some gaming projects and small cap altcoins in the near future. And I will be doing that Cardano video tomorrow that I did state uh, discussing the price of ADA, where I see that headed, and uh, discussing some passive income with that as well. So we also have Avalanche AVAX up 10% today, up 32% on the seven day, uh, now back to around $22. So uh, this one I have in dollar cost averaging, and this is another one with a growing ecosystem. Um, and I can see why it's starting to break out here uh, shortly after Solana and Terra Luna. So uh, this has been on a steady uptrend since it uh, did bottom out here around $10 uh, mid-July. And uh, this just broke out from around uh, $17 to $18 now to $22. And I could definitely see this getting back to the $25 to $30 range if the crypto space continues in a steady uptrend. So if we do have top 10 cryptos continuing in a steady uptrend, that's going to be huge for smaller cryptocurrencies. Like I always say, uh, when... Uh, Bitcoin is crashing, small cap cryptocurrencies are going to crash much harder. And when uh, Bitcoin is in a steady uptrend, the small cap cryptocurrencies with good utility, a good team, and big updates coming are going to have much more explosive uh, profits. So we did see Bitcoin break 47,500 major resistance, and that actually moved up much quicker than I expected. And now having a small correction today, I think is healthy. I do believe we will continue in a general uptrend towards end of August here and be testing that $50,000 major resistance. We also have a lot of major things coming like the Bitcoin Taproot upgrade, which is coming uh, by end of year, which does bring smart contracts to the Bitcoin network and is also the first major upgrade to the Bitcoin network in the last four years, which I think is massive. 
Uh, we also had Jack Dorsey, the owner of Twitter, mention he does want to implement the uh, Bitcoin Lightning Network into Twitter somehow. And basically every user would have a Lightning Network Bitcoin wallet in their Twitter account, which is very interesting. He's also the owner of Square, which uh, does own a large amount of Bitcoin. And uh, basically he's making it his life work to push Bitcoin mass adoption. So I'm very interested to see where that's all headed. Uh, but in general, we have huge things happening day after day. Uh, I do want to go over some huge news with you guys, but we have to keep in mind, uh, it's always a possibility that there's some uh, breaking news that is bad uh, for the crypto space. And we do have a bigger correction than expected. Uh, bears are still stating this is a dead cap bounce here and that we will be headed uh, lower now, uh, testing $30,000 again, and then uh, dropping even lower into a bear market. So personally, I like to keep an open mind and look at both sides of perspective and look at the data and really get a general idea of what's more likely to play out and then make moves based on that. It also doesn't hurt to take small profits on the way up just in case things don't go as expected, because as we've seen in the crypto space uh, with uh, volatility, Manipulation can really move this in, in uh, either direction very quickly as well. So before we jump into this huge news, I want to let you guys know I will be doing some huge crypto and NFT giveaways on my Twitter in the next couple weeks. Just follow me at JRNY Crypto. I also post here five to ten times throughout the day on breaking news as well as coins on bullish on and just about the markets in general. All right, guys, so we have some huge news over the past 24 hours, starting off with some bullish Dogecoin news. The team officially re-establishes Dogecoin Foundation after six years. The advisory board members for the foundation include Vitalik Buterin, uh, Billy Marcus, Max Keller, and Neuralink CEO Jared Burchall, representing Elon Musk's interest. So pretty crazy, the Neuralink CEO getting on board uh, with the advisory board for Dogecoin. So uh, looking at the Dogecoin price, we're currently sitting at 30 cents, down 5% today, but this has been on a steady uptrend since the uh, market bottomed out around mid-July. So uh, this did peak out around 70 cents uh, during uh, the Saturday Night Live with Elon Musk quickly crashing with the markets in general, uh, bottoming out around 17 cents, now recovered to 30 cents, so basically a 2x in that short period of time. With this good news, and if we do continue in a steady uptrend in the markets in general, I think it's actually very likely Dogecoin does test $1, but there's gonna be major resistance there because that's everyone's uh, sell target, basically. So I do expect if it does break a dollar, it's gonna be a peak like this where it does drop pretty much immediately back to around 70 cents or something. So, um, I only hold a couple thousand dollars of this in the stocks versus crypto trading series, which I will be doing an update on soon, uh, actually on profit in that do on that Dogecoin again. So uh, in general, I think there's better profits to be made in other cryptos, but getting to a $1 is over a 3x from here, which is pretty crazy. Putting Dogecoin over a $100 billion market cap, pretty crazy to think about that for a meme coin. So more massive news here, Fidelity's crypto ambitions are bigger than expected, says report. Fidelity says 90% of its biggest clients are interested in accessing Bitcoin and other cryptos. The firm is now planning to open up the digital asset space to retail investors. This is massive in my opinion because they have trillions of dollars between all of their clients. So uh, this is going to be huge. Uh, we're also seeing pretty much every other major company right now looking into cryptocurrencies. Uh, either creating their own cryptos, uh, looking into accepting cryptos payment, holding crypto on their balance sheet. One way or another, everyone is getting in on crypto, which doesn't make sense to me why uh, there's bears out there that think we're headed into a bear market right now when we're uh, really on the verge of true mass adoption. So uh, still very bullish for end of year, especially with data like this. Fidelity showing 90% of their biggest clients showing interest. These are older people as well. We do, uh, do have to consider that. Uh, that do have billions of dollars so more good news here analyst says this key metric suggests an altcoin season is at hand uh, basically we're already seeing a lot of altcoins surging over the past couple weeks uh, so a series of new all-time highs from altcoins and a drop in the bitcoin dominance metric has many analysts convinced that an alt season has started so when we start seeing uh, Bitcoin and the crypto space on a steady uptrend in general, and then we start seeing altcoins moving up and Bitcoin dominance dropping, that's when a lot of the small cap altcoins really start surging. So uh, Bitcoin dominance will drop from uh, cryptocurrencies like Cardano, Solana, XRP, Dogecoin, uh, all of these projects moving up is what makes Bitcoin dominance drop, especially when we see Bitcoin dropping a couple percent. And then usually a lot of those profits start spilling over into the much smaller market cap cryptos that are below the top 200. 
so uh, like i said those are much higher risk but also much higher uh profit potential as well especially the ones that have a good team they're building something that's useful and will have good utility where the token is actually needed and then uh have major upgrades coming as well so i will be doing a video going over some of these altcoins i am bullish on for end of year some of these have already surged but i still think there's huge potential out there as well as long as the cryptos uh in the top 10 continue on a steady uptrend in general so next up we have solana is now uh, in price discovery as soul shows strength below 70 dollars all-time highs optimism keeps flowing around solana with uh even current record levels still attractive as a buy-in so uh crazy how much solana has surged we also saw ada xrp surge um and i do believe some other cryptos are due to uh, catch up i think Chainlink is actually quite undervalued right now i think that will be uh surging at some point soon as long as we see uh bitcoin testing fifty thousand dollars so more huge news here tiktok partners with crypto powered music streaming platform audius According to Audius co-founder and chief product officer, roughly 95% of users have no idea that blockchain is even involved. Uh, we're also uh, seeing the price of the audio token surging here, uh, currently around $3, up 18% on the 24 hour. But if you look at this uh, zoomed out right after this news, uh, this went from $1.50 immediately up to $3. So basically a 2X just from this news. Now at a $1.2 billion uh, market cap, and uh, like that article said, 95% of their users have no idea blockchain is involved with this. So I'm interested to see how this develops. I don't hold any of this audio token, but uh, definitely interesting. They got a partnership with TikTok, which has a massive amount of users, one of the biggest uh, and fastest growing social media platforms. So more massive news here. Walmart seeks crypto product lead to drive digital currency strategy. We have another massive company looking to hire for blockchain and crypto related experience. Uh, recently, we did talk about Amazon hiring for this, possibly creating their own Amazon uh, cryptocurrency. We saw Apple hiring for this earlier in the year. Pretty much every major company is gonna be getting involved in one way or another, uh, whether it be creating their own uh, cryptocurrency, their own blockchain crypto related products, accepting cryptos payment, or uh, buying up cryptocurrency and holding it on their balance sheet as well, because as uh, you guys know, massive inflation is kicking in. Uh, we also have the possibility of going in lockdown again and more stimulus packages and uh, business loans being uh, printed trillions of dollars more coming into circulation just means even more circulation on top of what we're already starting to experience just means cryptocurrencies will go up that much more and uh, with everyone taking interest at the same time is going to create a supply shock for a lot of cryptos so walmart's future digital currency and crypto product lead will be based in the company's home office in Arkansas. So great news here, another huge step towards mass adoption. As we get more and more of these major companies getting involved, that means other companies will also follow and uh, really any companies that don't get involved are gonna be left out and miss out, uh, miss out on a massive chunk of revenue. So we also have Microsoft wants to use Ethereum blockchain to fight piracy. So Microsoft isn't involved with cryptocurrency yet as far as we know, but them getting involved using blockchain technology for various use cases is a great step in the right direction. Once they see the use case in blockchain, they'll uh, open up more to cryptocurrencies. And as more companies get involved with crypto, uh, like Walmart, Amazon, and Apple, I do believe Microsoft will get involved in one way or another as well, since they are one of the biggest tech companies. So over the weekend, we had a lot of NFT sets launch and the gas fees are just getting ridiculous with this because there's so many people trying to mint these at the same time that the gas fee ends up being three to five times the cost of the NFT itself which is just unacceptable in my opinion. And we definitely need a solution for this, which is why I believe other uh, alternatives are starting to surge like Solana. We're actually getting uh, NFTs on Cardano and uh, the Solana blockchain now. So that'll be very interesting moving forward and seeing how the NFT space develops. But I don't think the NFT space is in a bubble right now. What I have noticed is we do get peak volumes every uh, three to five weeks in uh, the NFT space. And then things level out again until there's uh, the next hype or uh, thing that brings a lot of interest into the space. So I actually believe that we're going to be seeing a peak um, volume for the NFT space around mid to end September. Uh, we do have a Christie's auction coming up, uh, Board Ape Yacht Club uh, being in a Christie's auction for the first time ever, more crypto punks being auctioned. So all good things that will help bring a lot of interest to the NFT space in general. So um, with these new NFT projects launching, I did try to mint some of these Cyber Kongs over the weekend and I wasn't able to get any and the gas fee uh, was, um, I believe, four to five times more than the NFT. So 
so just crazy what's going on right now it's almost pointless to try to mint new nft projects and better to just buy them on OpenSea in the secondary markets rather than trying to participate in the mint so cyber kong's mass monkey minting burns four million dollars in ether in five hours the nft monkey minting frenzy has caused gas prices to skyrocket once again so we also had five to ten other nft sets launch throughout the weekend and these sets are selling out in under 30 minutes now and the majority of people that try to mint end up losing their gas fee so uh, that is a major problem and a solution is definitely needed i'm personally taking a step back not trying to mint any new nfts especially because most of these sets are just going to become worthless and um, I am just focusing on the sets right now that I think have a good team, good utility, and uh, they do have uh, leveled out volumes. Uh, there's actually some great entries and good NFT projects right now, and I do think volume will be peaking again sometime mid to end September, like I stated. So uh, that's about it for this video. I hope you guys found it useful. Um, I'm still bullish on cryptos for end of year. Uh, if you guys did enjoy the video, I appreciate you guys liked the video. Uh, comment below and uh, share the video anywhere on social media or with friends and family that may also find this useful don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell and follow me on twitter for those nft and crypto giveaways and i'll see you guys in the next video